Hello, my name is Connie Lee. I'm the president and the founder of the FOXA Foundation. FOXA stands for Family and Friends Fighting Against Child Sexual Assault. We are located here in Cuba, Missouri. We're uh, doing a video expose and we'd like to... Okay, we'll go cut that and back that up. Hi, my name is Connie Lee. I'm the president and the founder of the FOXA Foundation. FOXA stands for Family and Friends Fighting Against Child Sexual Assault. We are located here in Cuba, Missouri. We'll be hosting the second global pop-up art project in Tampa, Florida. It'll be a live event. We'd like for you to come and join us. And we're asking you to send your video stories, please, um, of your sexual assault stories or human trafficking stories to us, please. Sharing your stories to inspire others to speak their truths, to promote healing. Um, I know this is a difficult topic. A lot of people, uh, it's hard to hear and it's hard to talk about. But uh, when I started my organization back in 2009, we had people, older generation, it was taboo for them to talk about. And they came to me and they, and they told me what happened to them. I don't want us to pass down a multi-generational epidemic of child sexual assault. It is time for us to step up and talk about what happened to us. We cannot pass down another multi general We can't just p keep passing this down and, and pushing it up and let it, letting it happen again and again. We have to start talking about it. The trauma that is inflicted upon us through suicide and anxiety and depression and post-traumatic stress disorder that we have to deal with every day of our lives from that sexual assault are the many times over that it happened and from the betrayal of our parents who did nothing or just let it happen um, are the are the good people who stand by in indifference and act like they don't know what's going on when they do or, uh, or don't want to talk about it or don't want to get involved that's a betrayal as well and we can't allow people to stand by in, in indifference anymore we're asking people to step up to the plate our children need us they're counting on us you wonder why there's so much anger in society it's because you've neglected the children you've thrown them under the bus it's time for us to stand up and fight for our children and take accountability as adults of what we've done to the society please i'm asking you to please share your stories and inspire others to speak their truth break the chains of fear shame and degradation inspire others to speak their truths it's not easy, but sharing one story will help. It'll give us the empower to make the change that we can to build a community of survivors and that can just make this change that we need for our children and for their future and, to and change the laws for no statute of limitations and free DNA testing. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a nationwide effort. We'll want your help with that as well. But with the video exposés, they'll be posted at the Global Pop-Up Art Project. And we'll post those videos with, we'll have people sharing their stories live there too. If you'd like to come and share your story live, we'd like that as well. But we're asking you for now to send your stories. And I'll post some uh, material up where you can... Um, send your stories if you want to come and volunteer and help we'd love for you to help if you'd like to send your flyers um i want to throw this out there you're not supposed to tag one project onto another but this is extremely important we're going to be doing a nationwide pro project uh, for the no statute of limitations and we want it to go out to all 50 states we need ambassadors we need volunteers we need petitions signed and we want it to go out to the representatives and state representatives before april and so we need your help and so we want it to be on all fronts so and we think that needs to be addressed as well so we want great change uh, like we like i talk about a lot mental health effects one in four people with post-traumatic stress disorders severe anxiety depression um, suicide and it continues on and affects people every day so people don't just get over it uh, they don't just forget it because once the trauma affects them. I mean, once they've been abused or sexually assaulted or sodomized or raped as babies or children, 
it alters the brain chemistry. And until they get the healing ministry they need or the counseling they need, they won't get over it and they won't forget it. And you turning away in indifference and acting like nothing happened is not helping them either. We need to have the mental health resources in every community. We need to have the mental health facilities, not putting them in jail and not putting them in hospitals and then throw them on the streets. We've got to have better solutions. And by sharing your story is a start. And it may not seem like much, but we can do this together. And I'm counting on you. I am counting on you to help us. So please join us, and I'll list all the information below. And so we look forward to not only seeing you at the Global Pop-Up Art Project in Tampa and seeing your stories online, but thank you so much for you know, joining the Fox and Foundation Revolution and joining this great movement. So God bless. This is Fighting the Last Great Frontier for Child Sexual Assault and Human Trafficking Prevention, and January is National Human Trafficking Prevention Month. So, hey, hey, here we go. This is starting out a great year, so let's go. Thank you.